Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to convert methanol to ethanol and we will also learn how to convert ethanol to methanol. Well, let me first teach you how to convert methanol to ethanol. Methanol to ethanol, right? Methanol to ethanol. Well, okay, let me teach you what is the structure of methanol. This is the structure of methanol. H C H O. This is aldehyde group, right? Okay, this is the structure of ethanol. C O H, right? So, to convert methanol to ethanol, you have to increase one carbon in the chain, right? And to increase the number of carbon in the chain, our mother compound is alkyl halide. So, anyhow, you have to convert methanol to alkyl halide, that is uh, methyl chloride, that's called corresponding uh, alkyl halide of methanol is uh, methyl chloride, right? Here you see when we reduce methanol, this is aldehyde, by hydrogen in presence of nickel, we will get uh, methanol, which is alcohol, right? Here, one hydrogen will be attached to oxygen and another hydrogen will be attached to carbon and thus we will get methanol right this is the formula formula of methanol as you know that this is alcohol and if you add here phosphorus pentachloride then chlorine from phosphorus pentachloride will replace the wedge of methanol right and we'll get methyl chloride and this is the perf mother compound of increasing the number of carbon in the chain so to increase carbon you have to add potassium cyanide right this is potassium cyanide when you add potassium cyanide to methyl chloride then this CH will be replaced by CN group, cyanide group, and you will get methyl ethyl nitrile, right? Ethyl nitrile, like this. Ethyl nitrile. Well, as you know that, when you will hydrolyze this ethyl nitrile, by HCl and water, then CH group of ethyl nitrile will convert to C double O H group, right? That is ethanoic acid. This is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid, right? This is the structure of ethanoic acid. Sorry. C is this is the structure of ethanoic acid that is we have one wedge and one carbonyl group in the ethanoic acid when you will reduce this ethanoic acid by lithium aluminium hydride then this C is this is carbonyl group will 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 be converted to CH2 group right by lithium aluminium hydride so you are getting here ethanol and now if you add <laughs> if you heat this ethanol in presence of copper catal catalyst at 300 degrees celsius tapmatra then this ethanol will be converted to ethanol 
the ethanol which is aldehyde right so from ethanol just we are deducting just hydrogen right dehydrogenation of alcohol right so one hydrogen from like this one hydrogen from from ethanol one hydrogen from carbon and one hydrogen from wedge group right will will be deducted and will get ethanol right well now we'll understand how to convert ethanol to methanol to convert ethanol to methanol we have to deduct or minus one carbon in the chain what is our mother compound other uh, our mother compound is amide so anyhow we have to convert this compound to amide so let's get started ethanol this is ethanol which is aldehyde if you oxidize this ethanol by potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid then this ethanol will be converted to ethanoic acid that is one oxygen will add to the carbon and you know that if you add phosphorus pentachloride to ethanoic acid then waste form from ethanoic acid will be replaced by cl which will come from phosphorus pentachloride and you will get this alkanoyl chloride which is ethanoyl chloride right and if you add here aqueous ammonia then this chlorine will be replaced by nh2 nh2 right and you will get ethanamide which is the basic compound to deduct one carbon from one carbon from the chain right so to deduct this carbon that is this carbon we have to apply Hopman degradation reaction well in Hopman degradation reaction bromine and potassium hydroxide is used so if you add here this this carbonyl group will vanish right and you will get this this is methyl amine methyl amine well this methyl amine will react with nitrous oxide well nitrous oxide N nitrous acid right nitrous acid will come from by the reaction between sodium nitrite and acl right so this nitrous acid uh, will convert this nh2 group to wedge group right and this is methanol which is methanol methanol which is al alcohol and if you add copper catalyst at 300 degrees celsius temperature then uh, we'll get methanol that is hydrogen will be deducted from alcohol that is dehydrogenation of alcohol right however thus we can uh, convert uh, ethanol to methanol thank you for viewing this video be well